to stop these guys because it really came down to trying to get them off the field offensively, and it just wasn't happening for you guys enough. What was the biggest challenge? I just think the overall speed, they're all pretty fast, you know. Um, that's pretty much, pretty much it. Did you find, were, did you guys feel tired? Was it, was it tough? Was it, you know, obviously it's a hot day anyway. Yeah, too. Yeah. Was, did you start to feel that in the second half as the, as the game wore on? Um, you know, I don't, I don't know. I, I think it was more uh, just heart, we're getting more heart, you know. I mean, we were coach conditioned us uh, all yeah. week, so I can't, you know, I can't really pinpoint that as the, uh, as, the, as a weakness. You face some teams already that are that are high, uh, um, no, hard, you know, hurry up, that kind of thing. So that, it's, that doesn't seem to be the problem. It's um, yeah. coach mentioned fundamentals. You're missing some tackles here, and they're missing some assignments. Did you see the same thing out there? Yeah, and uh, you know, I was to blame as well. So, I mean, the biggest thing we can do is come out here this week, just work our asses off. Um, you know, that's all I can do in a time like this. Right. We're five weeks in, though. Is, is it a little frustrating to be having? As a unit, and I'm assuming as coaches too, but as players, you know, having to go back to fundamentals here and going back. It seems like maybe at this point in the season, you're halfway through now, that most of the guys should be past that, or you know, at least it's going to happen now and then. But as a whole, is it a little frustrating to have to go back almost to square one and work on things? Well, you know, that's the most important fundamentals, the most important part of the game. So, right. uh, you know, obviously that's important for the coaching staff and the players. So I don't see it as frustrating. They just okay. they just know what we got to do. Joe was a um, what was the post game talk like today? I mean, I know the game plan was to come out and run the ball. You guys did a pretty good job with that, but after the game, you know, another loss, 50 points, unfortunately, again for you guys. But is it is it getting uh, is it getting tough to kind of go through the same things over and over again each week? Um, I, I guess you can say it's tough, but not because it's more so frustrating, I guess, from the because it's like repetitive, you know. But um, it's more so like. The only tough part comes, it's tough when you lose, like it hurts inside you know, right. when, when we take a loss, so that's the tough part about it, but I, I'll call it more so it's frustrating. It seems like you, like, like I was mentioning to Taylor, it seems like you guys, like, you, you, you prepare all week and you get out there and then the things you've been working on in practice don't quite go the way you think they're going to go during the game, that's what Coach Hoyt said in, in the past, maybe not all around there, because like you said, the offense had a, a good day off, uh, yard-wise, and obviously you had a big day, but the frustration is it is it hard to keep that in you know and not let it get to you too, too much because then as soon as they a lot of teams score a touchdown you know your head's drop and things like that is, is that the hard part? Um, yeah, we need we need to have uh, we need to be one team you know we can't have you know if the defense lets gives up a touchdown you know we can't just throw our heads down right. and think that's it you know mentality that we all need to have is all right our turn offense if the if the defense gets scored on offense like all right now it's our turn. You know, we always have to, we got to continue to lift each other up. And I know, um, I mean, it's getting better, mm -hmm. but I know we're, we, you know, that's something that you have to have, you know, when it comes to being a, a winning team. You know, you have to be able to lift your brothers up, and whether they make a good play or a bad play, you always got to help them out. Uh, how about that big long drive you guys went on? I know it was uh, in the end of the third and the fourth, it, was, it wound up being 18 plays, and you were able to keep their, you know, their offense on the, on the other side of the field. It was maybe a little too, little too late at that time, but did you feel like that was maybe what you thought you could do? All day against them. Honestly, I don't remember the long drive. Uh, okay. All the drives, all the drives seem kind of long. Okay. Um, well, it was 18 plays. Which way are we going? Where are we going this way? Uh, this way. Third and fourth. Well, it was fourth quarter, so you finished. You finished down here, I think. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Down. He's right. Finished down there. See. <laughs> I forgot to. <laughs> well, anyway, just you were on the field for a long time, so. Um, I guess uh, it's good for our, you know a lot of times we talk about you know trying to keep our offense on the field, that our defense get get rest, you know, mm -hmm. in between yeah. in between the game. But I feel like, you know, it's all about us doing our jobs. You know, I, a lot of times we hear it all the time, you know, saying that we beat ourselves, like yeah. teams that can't beat us, we beat ourselves. And we got to get past that. We got to get through that phase of beating ourselves because, I mean, that's it's, it's true. You know, we move the ball in the air and all around, you know, as we pleased. Yeah. But we have to do it consistently. And if we do it consistently, you know, whether the defense necessarily has a good or a bad game, you know, if we do our jobs offensively, we should be putting up points anyways. So, I mean, the long drives are good. I feel like we can do that all the time. We just have to continue to work as one. From the start, it was just, I think maybe, it became a game of trying to match them drive for drive. It, it seemed like for a while you could do it. And then, um, I don't know if the defense got tired or what. I don't know what, maybe you can say what you saw up there as well, far as trying to match their offense. From the start, it was us trying to stop them on defense. 
defense. So we didn't we didn't tackle well, and we didn't do a good job getting off blocks. It comes down to fundamentals, and uh, so we've got to we got to go right back to work on on Monday and work on our fundamentals of football. You, you, you go into a game like this, like we talked about the other day, you, can, you know what you're going to face in, in, a, in an offense that Gettysburg has. Um, too tough or made tougher by what you just mentioned, the fact that it missed some keys? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, they didn't do anything that surprises the scheme-wise. Um, we just didn't play good football. Did you, did you, were you pleased with the offensive uh, output today? A lot of yards, obviously Joe with a big day. What was it, let me ask you first, was it, was it a focus to get the running game going right away? Because you really were well, we, we felt we could run the ball against them, you know, uh, coming off of, you know, last week where, you know, we, we were facing a big, strong physical defense. This week we felt that they wouldn't be as big and as strong defensively as what we'd seen in the past. So um, we were excited to, to try and run the football. Uh, but we did uh, want to check some things at the line of scrimmage based on the fronts, you know, in eight-man front situations, check to the pass, um, just because, uh, you know, that's what people are starting to do to us. You did match a couple of their drives when they almost would pull away for good. You came back and scored and in the fourth quarter. I think they pulled away. But uh, you just I want to ask you about that one. We looked at like 18 play drive from the third quarter to the fourth quarter. I know maybe you wanted to go a little faster than that, but were you pleased with the way you guys converted the ball there? Yeah, you know, I was hoping that we could control the ball and keep their offense off the field. You know, the problem was we couldn't stop them on defense. So if you can't stop people on defense and um, get off the field, then it's going to be a long day. The fundamentals you mentioned, I mean, wh wh where do you go defensively for that? Because there's been a couple of these games now where you've yeah, given we up go, far too many yards. We to, go right back to our fundamental circuits. Um, we go back to our block destruction drills. And we go back to our tackling drills. And we just keep doing them over and over and over again until um, until we get better. Or until <laughs> we get the next year, we get, you know, we recruit some different players. And, <laughs> you know, it starts all over again. So, um, you know, there's, there's, no, there's no secret. Um, Winning football games, you've got to block, you've got to tackle, you've got to catch the football. And, um, we didn't do those things well. I mean, uh, we dropped a lot of passes on the offense. Mm -hmm. too. Is that frustrating though, a little bit as a snap because you're still having to do some of this? We're five weeks in now, and some yeah, of that stuff. Yeah, but it's it, you know, it, it's where we it's are. Where you are, yeah. you know, and you just got to keep coaching. You yeah. just got to stay after it. Sure. Um, you know, yeah, it gets frustrating, but. Just keep working at it. It's the only thing that's the only answer. You know, it's, you can't magically get better. There's no magic, uh, you know, scheme or there's no magic solution to it. You just have to continue to do the fundamental things and do them again and again and again. And they'll get better, you know, um, the, the young guys. You know, you think about how many young guys we've got playing on the field right now, and um, it's just more repetitions in practice, more uh, drill work. Because by the time, you know, there's a lot of juniors and seniors out there we're playing against, just think of the number of reps they've been getting as freshmen and sophomores, and then they play as juniors and seniors. Um, so we just got to be realistic about where we're at. Good.